with Larry here now. Uh, now, are you guys uh, out performing this at all? Not yet. We actually haven't performed live because we're we're still in the Philippines. We're still under lockdown. Oh gosh. Uh, and so there's yeah, there's still no live performances here. But it is starting to lighten up a little bit. Some acoustic um, sets are allowed only right now mm. in some of the clubs. But we're we're hoping that come January things will they'll get back to where live bands can start performing again. Have you ever given any thought to doing a uh, an online uh, an online show where you might do the entire album right straight through? Yes, that winds as uh, it gets to be a little difficult from here as well. But um, that is an option for us to to look into after the after the first of the year. Yeah, if, another... if they're not go- yeah, if they're not going to open up the clubs for live bands and stuff. As yeah, long as are... depending on now is is that new variant of the of the coronavirus. Yes, right. The Omicron. So, and it's it yeah, it's going to affect the states. Going to affect everybody. Uh, differently, so we don't know what the governments are going to do with regards sure. to locking people down again, and and so it's just playing it by ear. But yeah, we're going to stay strong, and we're, we're going to continue writing and and continue uh, yeah. doing what we do. So I know every time I hear "Chomp Chomp Gator," I think of uh, uh, Tony Joe White, Polk Salad Annie from back in the uh, what was it, back in the '60s, early '70s, whenever that was. I don't remember the year, but uh, absolutely. There are, there are platforms. There are plenty of platforms out there that would enable you to do the live, the live show, or even pre-record if you wanted to. I mean, there's Stage It. Well, for that matter, there's Facebook Live. So uh, there are plenty of ways you might be able to put that together. I think it would be an adventure, and uh, and quite a show. I know I would be. I would love to see that because this is a an intriguing thing that you have done here, John. You look like. You want to get back in here with something? What you got? Well, you pretty much asked what I was going to ask about possibly doing an online show. I think that the uh, doing a concept album like this and being able to um, you know perform it from the comfort of your home or your studio, uh, but still to try to get a worldwide audience could give you guys such great mileage for when it finally does break and life can start getting back to normal in the Philippines. Of course, here in the States, it has loosened up a little bit and probably to a degree, I think, too much because there are live shows now and concerts and, you know, all the bars are uh, welcoming folks back. And, you know, it, it's it's nice, but, uh, you know, I, I think it's too soon. Uh, that's just my right. own personal opinion. Uh, but I think that if you guys could do a uh, – you know, a, a full online presentation with full orchestration. Oh man, that that would be hot. That would be just great, and I would tune in for that definitely. Yeah, we well certainly uh, that that's in the uh, I can't I can't say it's in the works, but we we have put a lot of thought into that. Um, but well, you know, if you can. ever do, we you know we'll promote the heck out of it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, we'll we'll certainly let you know and if we do it and when we schedule it. Definitely look forward to that. Larry, tell me, when is this album going to be available to the public? Uh, we're releasing the single Badass Jane, which will be released on January 4th. Uh-huh. And then okay. the entire the entire album will be available on January 10th. And where would they go to look for it? Well, any digital platform. Okay. Uh, you know, Spotify, you, uh, YouTube, Apple Music, iTunes, Amazon, all, all the normal digital platforms. Will you be Will you be uh, releasing physical copies of it, either CD or LP on vinyl? Uh, I believe we are going to be, which will probably be towards closer to the end of January. Uh, but we, I have plans at at this point to go ahead and manufacture the physical CD. Great. From here in the Philippines, that'd be great and because you know there's there's guys like us. You know we're 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 the we're the we're the baby boomers. We're the dinosaurs, and 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 we like oh, yeah. physical media. Hey, yeah, you know, there's nothing like vinyl, and the world is starting oh, to realize absolutely. that there's a resurgence in vinyl over the last several years. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing. I'm as I said, I'm going to look forward to taking time to go back and listen to the album in order in its entirety. Now, before we let you go, we like to give everybody on our show. 
all of our guests a chance to sell themselves, tell the people how they can find you, how they can contact you, how follow what you're doing, and, of course, get your music as soon as it's available. Tell the folks how to get in touch with you. Well, we have multiple ways. Uh, of course, our, our, our Facebook page at um, you know facebook.com, come in to take me home, C-O-M-I-N-T-O, T-A-K-E-H-O-M-E, we'll get you into our Facebook. We've also, uh, in the last month or so, got our actual webpage at www.landmband.com, which from there, you, there's links to our music with regards to Spotify or Facebook. All of that is all contained in our web page, and uh, everything there will be updated um, as soon as I get time to do it. <laughs> it's been kind of busy, but we'll get well, the, the web page updated uh, for for this album and uh, all the other things that we have accomplished uh, in the past year. So Wonderful. I'm really, really excited for you about this project. It's been a while since anybody did a rock opera or a story like this, and uh, I'd be interested to see the reception you get. I'm just very thankful that you let us break the uh, break the album online and in the States and look forward to hearing some great things from you. Do keep in touch with us, and we will with you also. And again, thank you so much, one, for jumping in on a moment's notice, and two, for this fantastic project you've got going. Thank you, Larry. Uh, David, you're you're more than welcome. And um, from, you know, all the indie artists, we certainly thank both of you for all your support towards uh, indie artists around the world. You know, you have well, a great show, you. and uh, keep up what you're doing, because, it's, you know, it's guys like you that uh, make it uh, worth it for guys like me. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We we try, we love what we do, and we love sharing the music and talents of indie artists like yourself from around the world because a lot of American listeners don't get to hear some of the music from other countries, so it's especially right. great to be able to share that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Larry of the Allen M Project Band, and here we go with the title track from The Adventures of Badass Jane. Here is... Badass Jane. Last Friday night, I was drinking in a bar when this girl walked in and asked me for a ride. I said, Where are you going? She replied, Away from here. I just shot a man in the bars on my heels. I told her I was. Take her to the station of a train To hitch a ride on a southern rail lane By the way, I said, what is your name? She stared me down and said, badass chain With long black hair and a tattoo on her face And her eyes so black, just staring into space Now, I'm no fool and see the devil in her soul That's when she jumped up and said, let's hit the road She said, so bad, bad as Jane. She's bad, so bad, bad as Jane. She had a pistol slapped to her hip and a blood running down from her luscious lips. I walked her out to my car in a parking lot when she jumped in. I prayed to God to give me love. Shit my pants when she grabbed me by the leg and said, Thank you, man. I dropped her at the station to catch the southbound train. She's heading to the Delta and the Isle of Real Pain. Yeah. 
The Adventures of Badass Jane. There you go. The l and Project Band all the way from the Philippines. We want to thank Larry so much because it was like 7 o'clock in the morning when he had to get up to record this, uh, this interview. We want to thank him so much for joining us. We want to thank you, our listeners, as well, because without you, there wouldn't be us. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you so much for being there. We love you, John Bon Jovial. Take us home. Well, let me get on my saddle and mosey on out of here. Uh, uh, Rose's cantina. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, you did it again. You spent another perfectly good hour with us here at the David Bowers Awards, and we are forever and ever grateful for your attendance and your presence here. The David Bowers Awards is broadcast around the world from the studios of Computer Help USA in Naples, Florida, and, of course, from the Valley of the Sun in Tempe, Arizona, and we are for free, free, can you believe it, on most major streaming services, including podpage.com forward slash The David Bowers. You can help The David Bowers Awards support indie artists and music by clicking on the link at the end of this episode on Anchor FM and making a donation. We would really appreciate that if you would. Be sure to click the follow button on The David Bowers Awards on Blog Talk Radio, Anchor FM, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, all the usual places, and join us next week for The David Bowers Awards Saturday on WRFC FM 106.3 in your FM dial in Rochester, New York, otherwise known as Rochester Free Radio at noon Eastern. And then again on Sunday on Blog Talk Radio at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, and 7 p.m. UTC. So until next week, to the David Bowers and all of our crew of uh, moronic radio ranchero fans and hands here, this is the lovable and legendary John Bon Jovial saying, uh, you know, be good to yourself. Go get that booster if you're eligible, and we'll see you next week right here on the David Bowers Awards. <laughs>